sais ce qu'il fout. Even though you still have people just walking around in their comfort zone, but pretty soon the most is about to pull that pull that um pretty soon the most is gonna use Esau to pull the rug up from under their feet. Real soon, you know? It's only a matter of time when that happens. You know? But you got people out here that just wanna scoff and they wanna act like the prophecies is not gonna happen. But Pierre. But I got a scripture in, um, in Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse um, 21. Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 21. Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 21. And it reads, the word of the Lord, it That he had to the land of Israel saying, The days are for long, and our vision fell. That's right. What is that proverb? You know, Israelites that like to say, especially our people, that the days are for long and every vision fell. Because when you talk to the average Israelite out there and you try to tell them, you know, you might have some compassion you want to share, and you try to tell them, Look, you know, that America's getting ready to be destroyed, you know. That the, the martial law, the concentration camps, the famine is going to take place in America. Um, they look at you like you're crazy. They want to fan their hand at you and say, oh, that's not going to happen. You know, not in my lifetime. Yeah, come on. He yeah. says, not in my lifetime, you know. Not in my kids' kids' lifetime. And he reads, he reads, sort of men, matter of fact, verse 3, tell them they are poor, thus said the Lord Power. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as, as a proverb in Israel. Yeah. Verse 22, son of men, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying, the days are for long, and every vision faileth? And he reads, tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a prophet in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand in the effect of emphasis. That's right, the days are at hand in the effect of emphasis, you know. The days are at hand, you know. We're getting that much closer to all these prophecies coming to pass. And before you know it, these, all these prophecies will be on your ass, you know. And it reads, for there shall be no more any vain vision, no flattering divination, in the house of Israel. That's right. There should be any more filled vision, no flattered revelation in the house of Israel. So when the Lord, best believe, when the Lord, when the Lord, when the Lord says that these things are going to come to pass, you best believe these things are going to come to pass. You know, you best believe that these Gurgan troops are going to shoot you down in the streets. You know, martial law. These 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 are Marines on the side, these special forces right here. You know, they're going to come in and they're going to kill a lot of you jakes out there. You know? And don't say that we didn't tell you so. Don't come running to a camp nearby and say, oh, now I want to get down. Now I see that the process is coming to pass, but it's late. The doors are already shut. You know? What do you mean, don't come running? Just like. Because now that you said the method, what do you mean, don't come running? Meaning that don't come running when people. Because oh, this, is, this is what happened. When people. Like, you know the days of the Lord, right? I get it. I get, yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. But what do you mean, 
Job 9 verse 24, the earth is giving into the hand of the wicked. The wicked, so who is, who is, who is the wicked? The earth is giving the earth is giving into the head of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. That's right. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Now you know that the Lord was the so-called black man. Right? It's scripture, right? The Lord was the so-called black man. Yeah. So what is this right here? What is this? You got the great. You got the great. You got the great. You got the great. You got the, no, listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me, I'm trying to make my point. Real quick. I'm going to answer your question. Let me make my point first. No, no, no. This is. No, no, no. This is Caesar Borgia. This man's name is Caesar Borgia. This is from Borgia. He was the son of Pope Alexander the Great. It was sick of Rome. It was the six of Rome. You know, dude, now, you know, the, the listen, listen, listen. I'm trying to explain to you. You know the Renaissance period? You want to the Renaissance period? Well, the 1500s, the 1500s, you know, it's called the Renaissance period. It's called like the rebirth. You know? Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to explain it to you. Listen, listen. I'm going to explain it to you. Now, the, now, back in the 1500s, they call it the Renaissance period. That was the rebirth. Uh -huh. Which means that the so-called white people coming back into power. So during the time of them coming back into power, yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, you. Right. I understand. Let's just stay right here. What's the problem? Nothing's the problem. It's just that they vlogging the camera. Oh, thank you. And he's telling me that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like what? All right. Um. Yeah. Like I was saying. So, during the 1500s, you know, so-called white people were coming back into power. The most, the most powerful people, the prominent people that were powerful was the Bourgier family, you know? The Bourgier family, you know? Alex, Rodrigo Bourgier, the Pope. Maybe I don't. I just, That's what I'm trying to tell you. I get it. I just want to explain where I'm coming from. I don't know. I know. I want you to bring this out in high school. I have black history. Well, okay, but the, they're not going to teach you this. They're not going to teach this co collective history in the school system. So this is what we're trying to tell you. This is why, because the word devil means deceiver. You know, that's what the word devil means. So this is what we're trying to explain. It is the white people. Because look at this. They are the wicked. Well, who's in power? Yeah, I know. I know. There is. The devil, well, the devil, the devil, the devil himself, I believe that he's a child of God. No, he's not a child of God. Yes, he is a fallen angel. No, there's, 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 there's three, there's three. No, 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 no. There's the, the son of, there's, 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 there's the son of God, which are these guys right here. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's the um, sons of men, and there's the sons of the wicked. The sons of the wicked represent the so-called white people. Lucifer, the word Lucifer just means light bearer. Right now. light here from who? From the most high. So why, 
So why do you call Lucifer that Lucifer is supposed to be the devil to us? No, 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 no. That's, 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 that's a misconception. A that's a misconception. The word Lucifer, 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 Lucifer means light bearer. Light bearer. Who has the light? Who has the light? So who has the light? Not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. The Bible says, listen, listen, listen. Listen. No way does a white being has a light. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I know. I know. I know. I know. What does God mean? What does God mean? What does God mean? What does God mean? What does it mean? Lucifer. What does it mean? Lucifer. No, that's no, what it means. Light bearer. Alright, so it means light bearer. Okay. So, okay. What does the light, what does it mean? Okay, okay. And after that, you check. What's the light? 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 What's you have the light right now, they are woolly. This is definitely the church of earth is giving. This is the church of earth is giving. This is the church of earth is giving. Of course, that's what the gate is. Okay, this is our gift. Okay, okay. Let me explain. That's why you might say, God has given the devil in the next year. This is what you think you think you think you think you think you think you that's the That's the That's the That's the That's the That's the That's That's the 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 That's that's Job Nervous when he fought, the earth is giving into the head of the wicked because of the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's right. If not, where and who is he? You know, who did this? You know, we got the great majority of the people thinking that. This this image right here, this, this so-called this devil right here, is um is actually the um the son of the Most High, you know. People actually believe that this man right here, this man Cesare Borgia, is the son of the Most High, where it clearly t um states that the so-called um that the um that the Lord was the so-called black man, you know. The scripture states in Revelation one and thirteen, you know, that. Parenting, would you want to, want yeah, to get a quick? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Revelation, right? Yeah, Revelation. Yeah, what it took, see? Yeah, what it took, see? Yeah. Matter of fact, from the, from the Revelation, what do you want? That's the biggest uh, stronghold of, on the, on the uh, mind from the people, you know, who has to see by the devil. That's right. The white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So, Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Revelation, right? Yep, come. Revelation is revealed, so the truth is being revealed. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ Yahweh Shah Mashiach that's right yeah, we're gonna say the name the real name Yahweh Shah Mashiach which the Most High gave unto uh, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass come the Bible is describing a lot of our Savior who he even goes to Christ with Yahweh Shah come come and 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 he sent a um sanctified it by his angels unto his servant John. Oh. Verse two. Oh. Who bear records of the word of the Most High. John bear record of the word of, of the word of the Most High, right? And of the testimony of our Yahweh Shah Mashiach. The testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. No prophecy, no. And of all things that he shown, he oh. saw. That's right. Verse three. Oh. Let. Yeah. All right, so Revelation. Actually, yeah, one and thirteen. That's right. Revelation chapter one, verse thirteen. That's right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, yeah, the seven candlesticks represent the seven churches of Asia Minor. Come, um, one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is who? Who the people call Jesus Christ? Whose Hebrew name is Yahweh Shammashiach. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a long garment down to his foot, right? And the girt a path with a golden girdle. He had a golden belt. That's the Son of God, the second coming of the universe. Verse 14. Uh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like wool. The beard, the hair on his, on his, on his head, white as wool, white color, wool for the texture. Uh. 
And the bu what people on the face of the planet has bully texture here? Not the so-called white man, the so-called black or the so-called Negro, you know? Because it states in the scriptures that it is evident that the Lord spring out of the tribe of Judah. You know? So I'm reading on. As white as snow, as white as snow right? and his eyes, because he was full of wisdom, and his eyes were like the flame of fire. Uh, as a flame of fire, pursuant to the prophecy, uh, Genesis 49 chapter, his right. eyes shall be red. That's right. Verse 15. And his feet, the real image of Jesus. And his feet, like unto fine brass. His feet, like unto fine brass, right? Your feet are the same part of your face, right? Your feet matches your part of the skin, right? Your arm, right? So his feet. I do to find brass, brass, as, so it's of a brown, right? If, on, bro. As if it was burned in a furnace. So if you take brass, you burn it in a furnace, why? It's become very dark. So a lot of Savior who we call Jesus Christ, the dark skin men. Don't set the scripture, don't set the Bible. That's the biggest stronghold of, of, of the whole world, man. That's what the scripture says. Satan has received the whole world. Who is Satan? The soft fucking white man. The devil, the devil that the Bible speaks about. He deceived the world, his image, saying the whole world that Jesus Christ. A dark skin man is uh, look like this man. That's the biggest lie ever told in history, man. That's right. No. Oh Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we call Jesus Christ the dark skin man is gonna come to show America. That's right. Mama Kusha broke. Why? Matter of fact, I do have to this uh uh, uh, cry aloud, uh, that's the biggest stronghold. That's the biggest lies. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Right? Cry aloud. Cry aloud, right? Spare not. Spare not. So we don't care how you see us, man. Because we are here to give you a message. That's whether right. you like it or not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, right? And show my people show their my transgression. my people their transgression. The Israelites, some of black Hispanics, and the Americans are the people of the Lord. And the house of Jacob, their sins. And the house of Jacob, their sins. That's exactly why we're here, man. Let, let other people know, so called black Hispanics and the Americans, that you are the chosen people of God. You call God, them is Yahweh. We call Jesus Christ, them is Yahweh, Shah, and they're going to come to destroy America. That's right. No. Let me get on. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Right. Behold, speak thou into the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Just said, behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, man. Prophecy is what? The testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which is the Revelation 19 verse 10. Which I will put in thy mouth. The word that you speak, out of the words, is that the word of who you call God, Jesus Christ. Or dark skin, dark, two dark skin entities, man. That's right. Say the Lord. That's what? Verse 2. And I will cause them to be written in paper. And cause them to read in the paper. So that's why we have the Bible. You no? Know? But then was a scroll, now it's the Bible, right? That's right. For they are faithful and true. His words are faithful and are true, man. Whether you believe it or not. Matter of fact, Romans 2 and 3. What is, what is something that believe? So because the gospel that we're pushing is, uh, is for something that you people have never, has never heard before, man. This gospel is from above, man. It's something that you people have never seen before. This so-called black Hispanic and the American standing from the fucking of the earth. Let the whole world know that the so-called white man is the devil that the, Bible, that the Bible speaks of in America will be destroyed by the terrible destruction. To be by Russia, North Korea, Iran, the other should the other should miss on America, man. You try to man. All these things. Alright, first um Romans chapter three, verse um three. That's what? Right. But what if some do not believe? But what if some do not believe? So we know that the majority of, of the people are not believe what we're saying, man. So it don't matter us. Fine. Shall they unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? So your unbelief, your lack of belief, don't really bother us because some people have to die. It's a battle. God, the most high forbid. God, meaning hell, no. God forbid. Yay. 
Let the Most High be true. Let the Most High be true. And every man a liar. You have been a liar, so the word of the Lord is gonna sin no matter what. No matter what you do, the Lord of the, the word of the Lord is gonna come to pass, man. As it is written, thou. Go back to Second Ezra 15 verse one. All right, Second Ezra chapter 15 verse one. That's what. Verse three. Fear not. Fear not the imaginations against thee. We don't care how you, how, what, what, your vain imagination. It don't really bother us because we know this place, America, will be destroyed by turmoil, the destruction, destroyed by Russia, Iran, uh, North Korea, you know, Turkey, you know, and take this place down, man. That's the will of God and who you call God, Jesus Christ, because he pronounced the house, the house, the house, the house. That's right. Let not thy equidulity of them trouble thee. That's why your unbelief against thee. Your unbelief will bother us, man. Keep going, bro. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. That's the message. Verse 5. Behold, said the Lord, right. I will bring plagues upon the world. Because the word said, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, the sword famine, the famine, death, death, and destruction. And, destruction. and this is what's going to America, man. You people think it's a joke, man. Verse 6. For the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The whole earth. And their hopeful words are filled. And the hopeful words are fulfilled, man. Ever since the so white people came into power, wickedness was multiplied on the earth. So the Lord is fed up with the wickedness that must bring judgment to America, man. That's right. Verse 7. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more so the as Lord, touching their wickedness. So the Lord is not holding his tongue no more. That's why we see us all over the world, man. Global, man. To let you know that our Lord, the house is coming to, 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 to reclaim the earth which he made, man. Which they, which, which they profanely commit. That's what? Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise. Yes. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. No, that's that's that that's, you saw the white boy, you are known as the wicked, the devil, the deceiver that the Bible that the Bible speaks of, man. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me. Behold the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me ever since the white boy came into the Americas, not since you South America, you have shed innocent blood, man. You're gonna, you're gonna pay for it, man. Out of fact on number 353, you're gonna pay for the second shit, man. It's a chocolate, it's a chocolate. God. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. That's right. So I made a statement. I said, ever since Christopher Columbus, a so-called Jew, a so-called Jew came into America, he has shed the blood of the natives. So you saw the white people, you don't have to pay for you don't have to pay for the sins of your forefathers, man. Whether you like it or not. So you should not pollute the land where so, it where you in. So you shall not pollute the land where you are as a commitment. Where you, you are slack. For blood it defiled the land. For blood it defiled the land, right? And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. And the, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that shed it. But by the blood of him that shed it. So you saw the white people, your blood has to be shed in order for this land to be purified, man. That's recompense, that's spread back, that's retribution, that's equity, that's justice, that's violence. That's right. That's right. Go back to second Ezra 16, bro. Because it's a joke, man. They think it's a joke, man. We have to destroy this people the time. Come on. Second Ezra, 15, 15 and uh, 8, I will hold my tongue no more of touching their wickedness, but which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in the things in which they wickedly exercise That's themselves. That's right, because, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me. The innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, of people that has been, uh, that you saw a white boy has destroyed his land, the blood is crying for to vengeance. Uh, uh, for vengeance to the Lord, the how about your side, man? Uh, and, the, um, and the souls of the just complain continually. And the soul of the just complain continually. Who are the just? The just are the Israelites, so called black Hispanics and the Americans, which are the Israelites indeed, man. Verse 9. 
and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. That's why right. the, Lord, the Lord gonna give us a, 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 a payback of our enemies, men, those of our white men. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. That's why, right. that, that's, that's promise. In the, the word of the Lord are faithful and true. Matter of fact, Revelation 18, verse 20, Bible says, When this place is taken down, guess what? The true Israel, the Israelites, the, the, the elect, are going to be rejoiced over the church of America, man. That's what's coming. Uh, what's coming? The church of America. Babylon the Great. America's Babylon the Great comes to show by fire. That's right. The Israelites. So-called so black Hispanics and the Americans are the Israelites indeed. Well, wait a minute. Two-thirds okay. of the so-called are, are, are the people on the side will die. That's right. You know, because they, want, they don't want to take heed to the prophecies. They don't want to take heed and come back to who they are as a people. They don't want to keep, they don't want to come back to keep the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord prescribed for us to keep during the time of Moses when we exited out of Egypt. Uh, you know? Our people just want to have fun a, a lollygag and think that this thing, America, is going to continue on forever and it's wicked. Matter of fact, go. Give me a second. I just, um, second. Give me a 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 second. Give Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Jesus said, Beloved, so the Lord is talking to the elect. Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, right? What one day, um, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. A thousand years as one day. So the Lord is functioning at a higher time than us, man. So you saw the white people, you only been in power for 507 years, man. Ever since you came back as a uh, 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 Columbus, 1300 to 2019, that's 527 years, man. That's a short uh, rulership, man. That's right. Verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The promise was given to who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their descendants, the so-called right. black Hispanics, and the Americans, the Israelites. As some men count slackness. That's right. But is long-suffering to us words. So the Lord, one of one of the attributes, one of the characteristics of the Lord is long-suffering, man. That's right. Not willing any should perish. Not willing that any should perish, meaning that these people understand the Lord, our will is not for them to perish. But that all should come to repentance. But that all should come to repentance. But we know only the elect, the best of the best, are going to come to repentance, man. On, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So when a thief comes and breaks your house, he doesn't let you know what time is going to come, man. That's how the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to come, man. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Talking about the, talking about the missiles, the ITBMs, and the Kutmeto, or the missiles, which going to be shot from Russia, from, from, from Iran, from North Korea, from Turkey, to the shortest message to America, Babylon the Great. That's right. Hey, can I ask you something? Let, let me ask you something. You can't wait up. Go to the section where it and says they're all saved by and grace. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Oh, yeah. Elements shall melt with fervent heat. So everything oh, you see true. here, everything you see here is going to be melted oh, yeah. with fervent heat, man. I said the scripture. The method, ICBM, interpretator, or the submission, man. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything you see is going to be burned up. Uh, go on. 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. See then that all these things shall be dissolved. Everything you see them is dissolved by, by, the, by the fire, the lake of fire. When you Revelation, John, the Revelator, talk about the lake of fire. That's America being destroyed by ICBMs, man. What matter of people? What matter of person? What matter of person ought, ought ye to be in holy conversation, O oh God, and godliness? It's a sin then that all these things shall be dissolved. What men or person are you to be in our holy conversation and godliness? You know, that's, 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 that's the elect, man. That's what we just meant. Um, I mean, if you want, you can. 
Yeah, if you want, you can. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, do it. Uh, verse 12. Looking and, and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Lord. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Lord. Yahweh shall Mashiach. We know people called Jesus Christ, the dark skinned man, gonna come to open the sky and, and destroy this place we call America. He gave his people the Israelite power to hold the earth and worship the man. That's right. The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Talking about the missiles, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? Yes. Yes. And the element shall melt with further heat. The element shall melt with further heat. Verse 13. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we according to his promise Come. look for a new heaven and a new earth. Come. Wherein the wealth of righteousness. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth where enjoy the righteousness. And that's exactly what's gonna come. Once our Lord Yahweh shall Mashiach come, he shall sure take down the so white men and give his people power to rule the earth in righteousness. That's what we're looking for, man. A new, a new rulership. A new people coming back to power, man. The so called black Hispanics and the Americans, the Israelites, man. That's right. Matter of fact, bro, go to Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. 5 1. This is a joke, man. Actually, take like we're wasting our time coming here, man. Uh, first Thessalonians chapter uh, 5, verse 1. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1. That's right. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that that I write unto you. But the time of the season, brethren, Paul is talking to, to his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh of Israelites. For yourself know it perfectly. That we know perfectly that the day of the Lord that the day of the Lord shall come at the of the night. Why? Because we are watching, we are watching the prophecies, man. We're watching what's going on in Russia, Iran, we watching what's going on in America, man. For when they shall say peace and safety. For when they shall say peace and safety, that's exactly how most of your American thinks. It thinks everything is all good, right? The scripture says, but when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. That's what, that's what's going to come to America, I mean, the whole world, man. Out of fact, man. As travail upon a woman with child. Because just like a woman, just like a, a woman, when she's giving birth, everything, the, the birth pain comes out suddenly, man. That's how the destruction of America is going to be. That's right. And they shall not escape. They shall not escape, man. That's the day we fast approaching, man. The destruction of America is prophesied in the Bible, man. That's right. Babylon the Great, man. It's to be destroyed by fire, man. God. Keep going. But ye brethren are not in darkness. So we are not in darkness. Why? Because we know what time we're in, man. We measure the time diligent in itself, man. Because we know the promise of the Lord. The word of the Lord are faithful in our truth. That that day shall not overtake you as That's a thief. Right. That's right. Ye all, ye are all the children yeah. of light. We are all the children of light. The light is who? Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. And the children of the day. That's right. Where, where are not of the night nor of darkness. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So we are not sleep. We are not uh, 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 cutting up in some uh, mad philosophy. That you people are in, man. That's right. You know? But let us watch and be sober. So let us watch and be sober. We're watching, man. We're watching for the prophecy, man. Verse uh -huh. 7. For the for they that sleep, sleep in the night. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And that's the current state of the whole world, man. The whole world is like sleep, man. Verse 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith. That's what. Right. That's why right. faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, man. That's what we're hoping for, man. When all hell break loose, uh, Isaiah 32 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, man. When all hell break loose, we hope that Yahweh Bashim Yoshai be there on our side, man. And for an helmet and the hope of salvation. That's exactly what it is, man. That's exactly what it is. So this place that you call America will be destroyed by ICBMs, intercontinental, ballistic missiles because America is a central kingdom. That's right. Established on rape, deception, robbery, the white supremacy of these people in the time, man. And murder. And murder, man. Matter of fact, uh, I got, I got a little bit. Let's go, bro. People think this is a joke, man.
That's what's going to murder from Marshall Rock. This place is going to be on lockdown pretty soon. That's right. Uh, Revelation 16 and 15. That's right. And it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. That's right. Unless it's he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. That's right. And that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to uh, 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 take hold of this knowledge as, uh, as much as possible, man. At least he walk naked and they see his shame. That's right. That's right, bro. That's right. You know? No, 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 the turn of the Lord. So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power, man. Yeah, you know, like the brother said, you know, our people like to play games. People think that this is just a game, that we're just coming out here and wasting our lives. But at the end of the day, you know, we don't have no life here. In That's right. We weren't brought here as a nation to be comfortable here in America. That's right. You know, right. pursuing to um, Micah 2 to Micah 2 10. You know, pursuant to the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. You know, we weren't brought here to be comfortable here in America. That's right. You know, we weren't comfortable to just try to live it up here and think that we're going to just have kids and see our grandkids and kids' kids. You know, you know, we were brought here to serve captivity That's right. and to lament to the most high for our sins. That's right. Please. To the most high for forgiveness, That's right, bro. you know, come on, come on, come on. through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, Micah 2 and 10, he reads, All right, see in the park, for this is not your rest. That's right, all right, see in the park, for this is not our rest, you know. Huh. This place, Babylon the Great, aka America, is not our rest. That's what? You know? No, no. Alright, see in the pod, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with sword That's destruction. That's right, it is polluted, and it will destroy you with a sword destruction. You know? America is polluted with the bloodshed of our people. You know? That's how America is polluted, and with all their, their false philosophies. You know? Everything here in America is polluted. The air is polluted. The food is polluted. You know? The people's minds are polluted. You know? So this place just got to go. You know? And it's just getting worse and worse. You know? The wickedness of, the wickedness of America, America's wickedness that reached out to the Most High. That's right, bro. You know? And the Most High is about to punish this place for by way of thermal nuclear fire. That's right. Both sides about to baptize America with eternal fire. That's right. No? Isaiah 66, verse 15. Verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and he will chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury, and he will be flames of fire. That's right. The both sides, the Lord is going to come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. You know? Because them chariots, when they come, they're going to be shooting out laser beams. That's right. Which is concentrated fire. That's right. You know? Come. Upon America. Just like you saw Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Come. You know? Just like when you watch Independence Day, you see them chariots, they came out of the, um, that big mothership, and they were going down to these bases, shooting at the um at the military bases in, the, in that movie. That's right. That's concentrated fire right there. That's right. You know? That's, right. That's what these chariots are going to do. That's right. The chariots are, uh, yeah. That's just a preview to what the, um, what the chariots are going to do when they come upon the earth. That's right. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord bleed with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's right. By with fire and by with sword, but the Lord will bleed with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. There's going to be many dead bodies out here. There's gonna be many people getting zapped by them, um, by them, um, by them, um, lasers, you know, by them chariots. And they show you that, um, example in the movie World of, World of the Worlds. The first one and the second one. You know? Matthew 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to see peace on earth. I came not to see peace, but a sword. That's right. The Lord said, Think not that I come to set peace upon the earth. And he came not to send peace, but a sword. Because when the Lord comes back, he's coming back with a sword, you know? And the Lord is very pissed right now. He can't wait to come back. He can't wait for the order from Yahweh, um, from Yahweh to come back to destroy America. That's what? Mainly because of that bullshit image right there. Yeah, it's bullshit. 
You know this bullshit image that you uh, that the so-called white men put up, That's right. having people thinking that this is the son of the Lord, That's right. that this is the, the Lord. You know? Go on, right. chapter two, verse one. Lord, the trouble and Zion, in sorrow and alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is not here. That's right. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day cometh, because the Lord is at hand. The days are at hand, you know? But y'all, but y'all people ain't trembling right now. Y'all people ain't fearing. Y'all don't fear the Lord. Y'all not, not in fear. But y'all about to be in fear pretty soon. You know? So, but you see that big mothership in the sky and all them chariots, you go in fear. Come. Best believe you're gonna be in fear. Come. There are darkness in a gloominess, but there are clouds in their darkness as the moon spread up on the up on the mountain of great people in a strong that had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it. Neither shall be any more after you know? Because when it's all said and done, this whole earth is gonna return into righteousness. That's what this whole the earth is gonna be righteous. Everything in the earth is gonna be righteous. Oh, like a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burning. That's right, a fire devoured before them. So this is that this is that missile, that fire. You see? You see you got the warheads, you got you got the warheads inside this um this, this missile. Right here, in, in the in the beginning, in the, in the head, because you got the different warheads that break off and that will come out with that fire. Right. And the flame burn them, which you see behind them. That's what's going to propel the um the missiles to come over here. Right. That's what it's talking about. It's talking about this missile right here, huh. this oh. thermal nuclear missile. A oh, fire the fire before them and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as a garden of Eden before them. That's right. The land is as a garden of Eden before them. Like you see all the greenery, the vegetation of, the, of this land. You see how everything is looking good and nice. And what, what is it going to say after? No. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, a desolate wilderness. Because America is going to be 100% desert. That's after what? the thermal nuclear destructions, after that thermal nuclear missile, you know, hits its target. Let's look. After the thermal nuclear missiles burn themselves out, this place would not be nothing but a big desert. You know? And it, says, and it states that in the book of Isaiah. I'll get that up What if I can point look it out? Isaiah 13, verse, uh, verse 17, and it reads, verse 19, In Babylon, the glory of kingdom, the beauty of the child, this excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right, when the, um, when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, the same, the same is going to happen to America. How right. was Sodom and Gomorrah overthrown? By fire and brimstone. Right. So America's future and destiny is fire. But it's gonna be up in, in the ways of the thermal nuclear missiles. What? The thermal nuclear missiles, right? That's what? You know? That's how America's gonna go out that's by what? way of thermal nuclear destruction. By, by fire, right? By fire. By, by, by your book. Revelation chapter 18, verse 21, and it reads And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. That's right. That's with violence that great city Babylon be thrown down and that shall be sought to, uh, found no more. You know? How is that violence? By that way of thermal nuclear missile. That's right. Because you're going to have Russia leading the charge. Russia is already set, selling arms and nuclear capability to these other nations. Right. Such as Russia, uh, such as Iran. That's right. Uh, North Korea, yeah. China, yeah. Even you know, yeah. even Libya, yeah. you know. Yeah. So all these nations got nuclear capability. That's right. You know. That's right. All these nations have that missile. That's right, bro. And they're gonna use it against Babylon the Great. That's right. 
Oh. Isaiah 13 verse 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdom, the beauty of the child, his excellency, shall be as when Yahweh by Hashim Yoshai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it dwell in from generation to generation. That's right. After this land gets destroyed by the way, by the number of nuclear missiles, this land would never be inhabited anymore. Nobody will build their house on this land no more. Nothing will be built here no more. Because this place will be left as a memorial not to come against the heavenly fault. The Hava Bar Shim Yam Shai. You know? So America is going to be a big memorial not to not to come against the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly father. Uh -huh. It reads, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be gone in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian bitch sit there, neither shall the shepherd with the folder, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. That's right, wild beasts of the desert shall lie here. This is going to be their dwelling, you know? Wild beasts and de de desert creatures. Uh -huh. That's all you're going to have in America, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. That's all that's what's going to dwell here in, in America. This place will never be the glory of kingdoms any longer. This place is not going to be a beacon of light, you know? Because that beacon of light where everybody wants to come into America, you know, want to get that American dream, that light is slowly dimming down. That light is dimming down. That's right. Because now you got these other nations, they're, uh, they're closing up shop. And they're, they're, they're going home, you know? Because they, they recognize that a great storm is coming, destruction is coming. They recognize that America will be destroyed. So what they're doing, they're making a the, uh, little bit of money that they can, uh, shipping it home, and then take it off. Because it says in the scriptures that if these nations of turn, um, go back to their land. No. It's uh, Jeremiah 51, verse, uh, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut up in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. We right. wonder unto her recompense. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance, and the Most High is going to re re recompense this place. Right. For all the wickedness that they did unto our people right here on the sun. Right. No? Right. Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Welcome. Where you from, brother? Verse uh, 7. Boston. Uh, Rochester. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drinking. The nation have drunk of a wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's right, the nations have drunk of the wine of the of, of Babylon. Now the nations are mad, you know? These other nations can't stand this place. You know? They hate this place. Yeah, especially them uh, them Arab nation, man. That's right. They call it them Arabs, them, uh, them Ishmaelites over there. They call this place the Great Satan. The Great Satan, you know? That's what they call America, the Great Satan. You know? Because all America been doing, you know, all because of that bullshit, 9 11, that, you know, they, they've been sending bombs and dropping unmanned drones upon them, destroying villages and innocent people. Now they're pissed off. You know? That's why they don't have a problem strapping a bomb to themselves and running, running up into a tent full of. American soldiers saying Allah Akbar and blowing themselves up. Right. You know? Right. Verse 8, uh, verse 7, yeah, Babylon had been a golden yeah. cup in the Lord's hand that made all the yeah, drunken. Yeah. The nation had drunk of a wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so, she may be healed. That's right. If so, she may be healed. But what does the scripture say? Son. We will not heal Babylon, but she's not healed. That's for right. her. We have woman that healed Babylon, but she cannot be healed. You know? There's no way this place is gonna turn back back to that um, back to the fifties in America's golden ages. You know? Right now everything's collapsing. The infrastructure's collapsing, you know, their roads are falling apart, you know. There's no morals here in the society, you know, the uh, the economy is crashing. 
They want to make you believe that the economy is doing okay. But the thing is, it's failing because the dollar's declining. You know, the dollar's going down. You go to some of these other countries, they're not even accepting the U.S. dollar. You know? Because the dollar, the dollar is not backed by anything. Back then, the dollar was backed by gold or silver, right? But today, the dollar is nothing, man. It was actually more money to print the dollar itself, man, than the dollar, man. The dollar is backed by Americans, black Americans, social security. Well, it, um, and for your social security number, bro, it's a reason for America to get six million dollars from you from the FDR. That's Every right. Every single person that's born, right? Just get six. No, but the Federal Security Reserve number. gets the United States government six million dollars for you being born. Bro. True. That's right. And that's right. And you're right. being a cool, young. When you're born, bro, your, your birth certificate is, and your social security is nothing more than a contract between the United States government and the FDR saying that's your corporation. Your business. That's your right. business. He's a business. She's a business. Yeah. Their businesses. You know I'm a business. That's he's paper, a business. That's paper business. genocide. That's right. That's the paper genocide. They oh. changed out. They changed the people who were well, yeah, you know, like, for like benefits. Like the brother saying is right. Because if you go ahead, I've let's say if you, you guys on YouTube yeah. for years now, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I respect what y'all are doing. I appreciate what y'all are doing. Tell me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, bro. But yeah, so like the brother was saying, that's right. Because let's say if you go ahead and kill somebody, you know, you go ahead and put somebody to death, they're not gonna lock you up because you killed that person. They're gonna lock you up because now you don't took money from their pocket. Of course. Because that, because you know, that he, life that you taken. Yeah. You just cost them six million dollars. That's right. Yeah. So that's so why now they, they gotta implement a way to substitute that money. Yeah, that's right. right. So how are they gonna do that? They're gonna lock you up. And now you're in jail. Forty-two thousand dollars a year for meals, and they feed you what a seven-dollar meal, something like that. That's right. You feel you know? me? So they're just pocketing money to take care of you, and they're giving you the bare minimum. That's right. That's why. That's why they got that saying that you paid your debt to society. You know, that's why that saying comes from you paid your debt to society because by you taking that dude's life, he owed money to the Federal Reserve. You know, he's still he's still property of the Federal Reserve. He still got to pay money now so that, that he's gone. That's collected. He can't, somebody got to pay. Now somebody got to pay that money. You know, and that's you. That's why they sent it to you. You know, chain gang is there, bro. Oh. Uh, Jeremiah yeah, 51 verse 9, use common sense, bro. We, will, we will have here Babylon, but she's not here, forsake her, let us go everyone, it is on country, for her judgment, reach unto the heavens, for her judgment, reach right. unto yeah. heaven. Let everybody forsake her and go back to their own country. That's why you got the president of Russia, uh, the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, That's right. calling his people back home. That's right. He's telling his people, come back home, come back to Russia. Russia. Because, because there's a great war that's about to take place. You know that it's about to go down. You know? It's being revealed that it's going down. And we so ignorant, focused on all this bullshit. Isaiah chapter 9 West, verse 5 For every right. battle of the warriors of with confused noise and garment worn in blood for they shall be burning into your fire That's right and for every battle was uh, was confused noise because back in back then when uh, when a nation went to war with another nation they had swords you know you had the swords the shields you had the collection of the shields and the swords but this war is going to be for, uh, with fire burning and fuel fire, which is going to be a thermonuclear war, you know? But you already see Russia demonstrating their nuclear capability, the missiles, the high-tech missiles that they um, they, that they develop, you know, the hypersonic missile, you know, they got, they got a missile called Satan, like Satan too, you know, all of that, you know? You see Russia demonstrating to the world how these nuclear missiles, these smart missiles, they even develop a, a thermonuclear missile, uh, a dummy nuclear missile. Where here it is, you know, the nuclear missiles can't really detect the, the real missile. You know? That's how advanced and high tech that Russian military have become. And that's all through the spirit and power of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Isaiah 54 verse 16. And he reads, Behold, I have created the smith that brought the coal in the fire, and that bring a forth an instrument for his work. That's right. Who was the smith? What is a smith? A smith was a, was a person that made weapons. 
Back then, he will say shields, you know, swords, daggers, whatever weapon. But who are the modern day Smiths now? The modern day Smiths are the so called scientists. The scientists that the most I gave with the mindset to create that mystery. You know? It says, uh, Behold, I have created a smith that brought the car in the fire and that put the fourth an instrument for his work and have created the waste to destroy it. That's right, I created the waste to destroy it. What is that waste? That thermonuclear missile. That's, that's the instrument and that's the weapon that's going to waste the whole of America. You know? That's what's going to destroy 100% of America. You know? Everything is hand painted. Second Ezra 6 verse 2. Get up yourself with cloth and sack, and hell, bewail your children, and be sorry for the destruction that is at hand. That's right, bewail your children because the destruction is at hand. You know? You're going to bewail your children in them days. You know? Because that missile is not going to care whether or not you have children, whether or not you have that missile. That's that baby. But the missile, the scripture says, they shall not pity the food of thy womb. Should I have pity on the food that I want? The sword is set. The sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? The fire is set amongst you, who may punch it? That's right. The sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? You know? Who may turn it back? Are you gonna turn back that missile? No, bro. When that when that archer when he shoots that bow and arrow? Oh, Verse five. Legs are set unto you, and what is he that may throw them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the woods? That's right. When any man drive away a hungry lion that is in the woods, you know, when that lion's hungry, he's coming to eat. He's coming to kill some. You know? Are you gonna are you are you gonna drive that lion away? May, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may it, may anyone quench a fire to stumble? When it had begun to burn. That's right. What I mean, man. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, come closer. Oh, uh, you're good? All right. All right, all right, come on. Verse 2nd, chapter 16, verse 7. May anyone kind of turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. That's right, when any man turn away and get an arrow that is strong of a mighty archer. You know, this is what Ezra is asking. Yeah, you know? The mighty Lord sent up the plagues, and who is he that can draw them away? That's right, the mighty Lord sent up the plagues, and it may drive them away. That thermal nuclear is one of the, is the ultimate and final plague that the most high is going to send upon America. You know? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. Who is he? That may quench it. That's right. If fire is sent from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Because he's fire department, the Boston Fire Department ain't gonna quench that fire. That's right. Well, that's right. Well, sir. <laughs> and he reads, he shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? That's right. He shall cast lightning, who may not fear? And he shall thunder, who may who shall not be afraid? This is what the law has been enacted. Come. Because when you hear that thunder and that lightning, you tremble. That's right. You know? You tremble when you hear that. The Lord shall threaten him, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. That's right. The Lord is threatening who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. You know? The earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof, the sea arise up with wave from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes are up also before the Lord and before the glory of His power. That's right, before the Lord and the glory of His power. Because this is, this is all coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's right, you know? This is all the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's try it sin. For strong if it's, it's his right hand that built the bow, his arrow that shoot it are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth. That's right, when the arrows begin to be shot throughout the face of the earth, that's what, like right. you see them, inter, that's why it's called intercontinental ballistic missiles. Because right. it's coming from one end of the earth onto another, right. you know? Because right. um, the them missiles have homing devices that that's installed in them. Yeah, what you call uh, 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 
GPS? GPS, yeah, yeah GPS homing device. Right. Installed in, in, in the, you know, to reach its target, you know? To reach its destination. To reach its destination. To be able to put a mark on it. That's right, that's why it says in the scriptures, the arrow shall be shot and shall not miss, you know? Plus, the speed of the question. question. Yeah, go ahead. Take it out, I want off topic, bro. Off, off, on topic. <laughs> so, a black man, right? So, a Judah, we, is it okay for them to marry? Other tribes? Other tribes? Yeah. On this side right here? Yeah, yeah they're of in course. the same tribes, right? In yeah, tribes. We're, 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 they stay in the trail tribe? Yeah, we're, good, right? yeah, we're, all, the, we're all one nation. Right, it's 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 one nation. Yeah, yeah it's okay, yeah. 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 We're, we're all the same people. I'm from, I'm from Gad and Judah. No, you can't be both. You can't are be you both. serious? You can't are be your, both. Are your father? I have Native American on my grandfather's side. What's your father? So on your grandfather's side, right? My grandfather's side is Native American. So yeah. is that your father? That's my dad. Like he raised me. Okay, so that's yeah, you have the tribe of Gad. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're the tribe of Gad. That's right. You know? So that, that it goes by the bloodline of yeah, the, the man, of the of the father. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was from the mom. Nah, it's nah, not nah. from the mother. That's what she like, doesn't she doesn't she doesn't have the seed. Man carries the seed. So what about a you know? Whoa. So 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 what about um So that there? seed is coming from that man that's that um that is planted so within that woman. Huh? My daughter, my yeah. daughter's half white. It's great. Well, she's gonna be a Judite because you're you're carrying the seed yeah. because she's up your seed. She's up your loins, so she came out of your loins. Right. You know, so she's because you ever heard the saying, "You are who your father is," right? Right. Yeah. That's where that saying comes from because the man carries that seed. You know, right. so that's how it works. It doesn't so the go. Man to the man carries the. That's why he carries the name. Yeah, you that's see? why he carries the name. Yeah. If I may add two, that's why when you when you marry. The women carry out the last thing. So, why don't it never work out? It never work out. Well, why? It's interracial Like, interracial relationships? It don't work out. Well, I've been in like, it don't work out. Well, they technically, don't the same. to me, what I learned is they don't look the same. Well, technically, what it is is that these other nations, the, the women of our other nations, you know, because we just read in the scripture that every man, everyone shall turn to his own people. You know, but when we get in the kingdom, you know, these white women and um, these the, uh, the, the nations of the other, uh, the women of the other nations, right. they're going to be our concubines. Yeah. You know, they're going to be nothing but our play toys. Yeah. Just like the so-called white man. I've heard it before. Yeah, come. I've heard it before. Yeah, come. Now, that's real. Because the so-called white men done had our women, you know, and, and had them as concubines and things like that. And bad seed with our women, you know. So the so we're gonna do the same thing to the so-called white people and these other nations, you know, because we're gonna have their their women as concubines yeah, right. and as um, and as bedwitches in the kitchen, that's right, you know. So whatever they did to us, they're gonna re, re um we're gonna do unto them double according to the scriptures. Matter of fact, I'm Dominican. You're Dominican. Yeah, I'm right. Colombian. You Colombian, so y'all Israelites, you know. Yeah. Y'all the true, we're y'all the true chosen people of the most high. You know, y'all love the tribe of uh, uh, Asher, Asher. Yeah, Asher and Simeon. That's you. you know? Yeah, I see. It's a Dominican Guatemala. Yeah, God. And the so-called white man's the devil. That's right. You know, because this is the this is the name that he gave you. Called you a Colombian. He's separated. Yeah, he separated. That's what I tell people every day. Yeah, he yeah. separated us. And that's what uh, you call divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. You know why you call our nation? You have to divide them. Yeah. That's why there's a. So basically, that's why we're in conflict with each other. Yeah, exactly. All of us. That's right. Exactly. That's right. You know? But the conquistadors, yeah. they came in and they raped and murdered your forefathers. That's what. Yeah. That's the so called white man, the Klingo. Yeah, that's what he did to our people. Right. And he's gonna pay for that. That's right. You know, he's gonna pay for what he did to our people. You know. Yeah, <laughs> cut. Galatians, six verse seven. And it reads, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. And it reads, Galatians, 
Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever men soweth, that he shall also reap. That's right. Be not deceived, for the most high is not marked, for whatsoever man sows, that he shall also reap. In Revelation 13 and 9. So what does the so-called white man sow? You know? He sow rape, rob, and murder. You know? Pollution of the earth. Lies. Deceit. So this is what this is what's gonna happen to the so-called white man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Of any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the so-called white man led these people on the sign into captivity. So the scripture says that he shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Because the so-called white man that killed our people with the sword. You know? You don't shed our blood with the sword. And that modern day sword is the gun. You know? That's how he destroyed our people. That's right. So now we're going to kill them with the sword. You know? When our Lord Yahushua comes back and gives us and we start the true people, the true children of the earth in power, man. That's what's going to happen. This other nation, they're going to go into slavery, man. That's right. our destiny, man. That's what you call, uh, uh, what do you call it? You still have something you call, uh, manifest destiny, man. Manifest destiny. Manifest destiny part two. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. It reads, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob God. and will yet choose Israel. So the scripture says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel, right? God. And yet choose and set them in their own land. And set them in their own land. That's how you know the people, the so called Jews, the Amalekites that are in the land of Israel, they are not the real Jews, man. Yeah. The Lord's going to be the one setting exactly. his people in their own land, man. Exactly. That's right. And bring them to their place. That's right. And the house of Israel shall possess them yeah. in the land of the yeah. Lord mm -hmm. for yeah. servants and handmaids. Yeah. You know? Oh, shit. Well, well. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. The house of Israel shall possess them. Possession, when you when you become somebody in possession, meaning you become their slaves, man. That's right. That's right, And they shall take them captives. And the people, um, is, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. That's exactly what's gonna come, man. Because when our Lord Yahushua comes back, everybody, man, is it, it, gonna separate the sheep from the goats. The sheep are the house of Israel, and the goats are the other nations, man. The Lord is coming to set division, man. The Lord is not uh, uh, about all people come together. Now, nah, man, the Lord is a separatist, man. That's right. Um. In their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. The land of the Lord is, who, is, is, uh, is the Israel, man. The, the land that was given to forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and yeah. descendants, man. For servants and handmaids. For slaves, right? And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. They shall take them captive, whose captives they were. So the devil is going to flip, man. The, la the first will be the last, and the last will be the first. That's exactly what's going to come, man. That's exactly what's going to come in the future, man. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And they shall rule over the oppressor, man. That's what's coming. That's what's coming, man. A promise, man. What a and great day that's coming. Yeah. Be a and, great great day. Day. and it shall wow. come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. It shall come to pass that the day in that day the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. So what happened to us as a nation has never been done to any other people in the face of the earth, man. That's how you know. These are the signs to let you know who are the true Israelites, man. That's right. And for and, and from they and from thy fear. What? Oh, oh yeah. yeah.
Like, what's up, yo? Like, nah, it's all good. 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 This word is gonna come out. Bro. Regardless, regardless, bro. Yeah, that's right. Alright, man. Alright, And it shall come to pass in the day. Uh, uh, in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. The Lord shall give us rest, man. Hey, our people, you have our people as the feast of our reparation, man. The reparation gonna come so when the Lord, Yahweh Shai comes back and puts this organization in slavery, man. That's gonna be the true definition of reparation, man. To have this nation, this hidden nation, because the reason that these people are here is for us to serve us, man. They, they're gonna do that in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. You know, like the brother said, you know, there's not enough money that this devil can give us, you know, that's gonna un um, undo the damages that he did. The damage has been done. The damage has been done, so there's not about the money that this devil has that he's going to give unto us to, um, to, uh, to repair the damages, you know? The scripture says that, you know, a nine for a nine, two for two, you know? So he shed our blood, so we got to shed his blood, you know? We don't want the reparations, we want that blood, you know? Because at the end of the day, the dollar ain't worth shit, you know? The dollar's not backed by gold and silver. The dollar's declining. So what good is that going to do for us? You know? Uh, second Thessalonians chapter 2, 1 verse 6. See, it's a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. That's right. See, it is a right, um, righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So they troubled us. They killed us. They slaughtered us. We're going to do the same to them in the kingdom, but double. You know? Huh. Verse 7. And to you who are troubled... Rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shamashiach shall be revealed from heaven. That's right. For you that are in trouble, rest for us, you know? Like you brothers that are sitting there, you know? Rest with us, you know? Because we are in trouble, you know? Your souls are tired of the oppression and all the bullshit that we got to go through. The so called white man. That's you know? He says, uh, and to you who are trouble, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shamashiach shall be revealed from heaven with mighty with his mighty angel that's right come revealed in heaven with his mighty angel you know because the lord is coming back with, with legions of angels to come here to destroy america you know he's coming to bring fire and brimstone to america you can feel the energy in the air. Yeah, come. Yeah, you can feel it. There's a tension in the guard, man. You can feel your anxiety. It's us as black people. Yeah. You can feel it. Like, the, the, the something like, coming. I told my know. homeboy this, like, yeah. a year ago. Yeah. I was like, I can feel something coming. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. Something is coming. But it's inside of yeah. me, though. Something I can coming. feel something. Something, like, something big is coming. In the temperature. Yeah, like, something big is coming. Yeah. Right, it's uh, real. Yeah, it's real. I was like, man, what? Like, what is it? Like, I'm feeling out here. Yeah. Why do I feel like my back against the wall every day? Like, something's coming, bro. Yeah, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Yo, are they considered? Huh? No, no, they're heathens. Huh? They're heathens. Heathens. Yeah. Yeah, they're not Israelites. They're not of our people. No, they're not our people. That's why they look like that when they're doing it. Yeah, but well, let me get back into this. Um, well, let's sit down and let you guys eat. Uh, first, um, verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest in thy sorrow. So we're going to get rest. We're going to be resting, man. We're going to We're gonna sing up on our beds in the kingdom, man. When we have these nations in slavery, man. All these nations that are outside the nation of Israel, they're going to be in slavery, man. That's right. And from, thy, and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage where... Wherein thou was made it to serve. From the hard bondage, wherein thou hast made to serve. So we start slavery here in America, North Central, South America, man. All over the world. Wherever these people are, they are at the bottom of society, man. That's how you know they are the Israelites, man. Verse 4. That's why they keep them away from society. Yeah. They give you the light skinned people. They cast away. give you the indigenous people of those lands. That's what you call white supremacy. In order right. for white supremacy to work, these people have to be those at the bottom. That's how white supremacy works. It's like in Asia. All, this, all the countries overseas, all they, they they live in the woods. Like, 
yeah, they don't come right. out. They don't show you these people. Yeah, that's hey. right. Hey, that's, that's, that's why you got in China, um, over there in China. A lot of black folks like, yeah, you in China with Chinese guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why we got it over there in China. That's why they got um the dark skinned people over there in concentration camps, you know? What? Yeah. They call them the Wego people. They call them Wegos, you know? They got them in concentration camps over there, over a million of them in concentration camps. You know that Muslim, Muslim, yeah. they lock them up. Exactly, you know? Muslim over there, you get locked up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Verse, um, verse four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. That's exactly what it is. We're taking this proverb, this song, this gospel against the king of Babylon. Who's the king of Babylon? Uh, 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 the Rothschild, the Oppenheimers, the Dooku, the, the Gaddis, the Rockefeller, the elite making families of Israel, the so white men. The elite. The elite. The, the Luciferian. The, the enlightened one on the left hand side, man. And say, how how has the oppressor ceased? Hey, that's exactly what's going to come, man. The golden city ceased. Hey, so this place, the rulership is coming to, coming to an end, man. Verse 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. The staff in your power. You know, that's a, that's all a king, a king has, has a, what? A staff to lean upon. Like a staff symbolizes power, rulership, and dominion. And the scepter of the rulers. The scepter of the ruler, right? Verse 6. He who smote the people in wrath uh -huh. with a continual stroke. That's right. And that's exactly ever since America came into existence, existence, he has uh, destroyed the whole world, man. That's the hem of the whole earth. Wherever this devil goes, they have destruction followed them, man. They put hell on all, on all people. Matter of fact, Numbers uh, 29 verse, uh, verse 2. So wherever the devil goes, man, wherever the devil goes, they put hell on, on the, the dark skin people all over the earth, man. Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, that? that's, what, that's what Malcolm X was talking about before he got killed. No, no, no. Max, he knows the truth. He knows he was an Israelite, man. Mass genocide was going. He was yeah. telling us about that. Yes. Uh -huh. All people of color in this whole world have been treated. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. Yeah. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So the seed of the righteous are the Israelites, so-called black Hispanics, and they're Americans. When we empower, we worship the other nations, they're going to be, they're gonna be uh, 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 enjoying, man. They're going to be uh, having good time, man, because there will be GM of food, there will be camp show in the air, there will be, tra there will be trash in the ocean, you know? People will be, will be treating fairly, man. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. When the wicked bear fruit, who are the wicked? The wicked are the super white men, the South Oakland white men, the devil, the wicked man, the deceiver. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. That's how you know the super white man is the is the devil man. Everywhere he goes, man, you have hey, everywhere in the world, man, people is catching hell, man. That's right. And we well, built the same as the heathens talk about. Are they considered? Are they part of the same character as white? Well, no, they just they just a different set, but they just heathens, you know. They're not character because you got three people, um, sets of um, men on the earth. You got the sons of men, which are these people. Then you sons of God, the sons of God, it's like the sons of God, the, the most high, which are these people right here. Then you got the sons of men, which are the other nations, which are the Arabs, and then you got the sons of the wicked, which are the so called white people, right? But on um, the sons of the wicked will totally be exterminated from off the face of the earth. After a thousand you know? years. After are, they, are they the fallen angels? The white people? Walking? No. They're not the fallen angels. Are no. they still here? No, we are the fallen angels, bro. We are the what we are the fallen angels, bro. We are the fallen angels. The Israelites. No, we are the fallen angels. Because we once had um the power, you know, but we were taken down because we didn't keep the law, statutes and commandments. You know? That's why that's why we're we're we're, we're here in this captivity right now. Right. Because we didn't we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments, so the most high raised up Esau, this devil, the so-called white man, to rule over us. Come, you know. If I may add to bro, when you put down when you put down the word angel, it means messenger. The messenger of God are the Israelites, so-called black Hispanics and the Americans. When you read about Moses, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, these are, are all Israelites, man. They are the messenger of God. You know? They were sent they were sent to give a message, man. Right? 
Right. So we fell down the foundation, man. Ecclesiastes, the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 4. It reads, the power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord. So, the power of the earth, the rulership of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. When you read uh, Daniel 4, verse, uh, verse 17, it says that the, the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. So, the Lord is the one that set up rulers and take them down, man. So right now the Lord set up Esau Edom, the self proclaimed white men, and put us down. So in the world to come, we're gonna be up, they're gonna be down. That's right. And 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 in due time he will set over one that is profitable. So the scripture says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over one that is profitable. So the one that's gonna be profitable are the Israelites, the so-called black Spanish and the Americans, man. And the Lord Yahweh Shai. Verse five. In the hand, in the hand of the. Verse eight. Because of our righteous dealing in um injuries and riches got by the sea. So the scripture says of because of the lash of dealing, injuries and riches got by the sea. Ever since that was given to power, man, they stole the natural resources of the whole earth, man. The riches got by the sea, the they got, kingdom. They got the riches by the sea, right? The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So the kingdom is going to be translated from one people, the, the east or Edom, to another, the Israelites, so-called black Spanish in the market. That's what's gonna happen. So, uh, then you seven verse eight seed, right? The seed of the Muslim. That's exactly. That's what you said. You, you said something earlier, right? You said like a uh, there's a uh, something coming. Something's coming. There's a change in the God, man. That's what you see taking place. There's a, a transfer of power. There's a new people coming back to rule the earth. That's the Israelites, man. These people on the side. You know me. I can see it. My family. They don't feel the same. Thing. They don't feel the same way. Huh? I said, only I can feel it. Hey, My family don't feel it. It wasn't giving to everybody, man. It wasn't giving to everybody. Only giving to what uh, selected. That's right. Chapter um, Daniel's chapter seven, verse eighteen. No. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. The uh, scripture said, "But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom." The saints are the Israelites people. And we're gonna take the kingdom, right? And possess the kingdom. We'll possess it. Forever and, and forever and ever. Forever, forever. So our rulership, our power structure is going to be forever, forever, man. Evermore, man. Everlasting. Everlasting. That's, that's what's coming to our people, man. Because That's um, the good news. That's the gospel. Because when um, because when the bullseye was speaking to, um, to, um, to King David, he said that his son, his son shall, shall set up a kingdom, and of this kingdom shall be no end. Take it to the 24, boy. Take it to the King David was Israelite. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that was uh, he was from the tribe of Judah. He was a, a, a king and a prophet. Right. Yeah. Solomon. Solomon was his son, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. He also was a king and a prophet. Yeah. yeah. And Solomon later on, the last generation, he came back as Yahweh Shai. He came back as the Lord of the world, and we call Jesus Christ. You know. Zerah yeah, okay. so, um the, the world who the one who ignorant who the world we called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. He came back as Solomon in the reincarnation. You been in the reincarnation? Wow. We all been here before. Yeah. So that's why the people when the people was talking to him, they referred him as the son of David. Right. Yeah, as the Lord, you know. Was the world he called Jesus. Because he was he was um he was also referred to the son of David. Why? Because he came out of the line of um, David, he came out of that line, right, from King Solomon on down, you know, and he came back as Yahweh, um, Yahweh Shai from um, Solomon, the incarnation. 
So I'm um, reading all um, stuff right here. That's some heavy stuff right here. Daniel's chapter um, two, verse forty-four. And the day, and in the days of the um, kings, and in the days of the these kings, shall that's what you, that's what you see taking place. Man. That's what you see taking place. Man. That's what you said. Uh, there's a change in the guard. There's a you feel something's coming. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a shift. Yeah, that's exactly what it's it is. A shift coming. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, shall um, which um. So the most high set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. So Yahweh shall set the kingdom of heaven is within you, right? Yeah. You are the kingdom, right? So yeah. so every man that you, every king that you see all over the earth, that's that, that's the that's the kingdom. The kingdom is still it, it, it's being built right now. Okay. That shall never be destroyed. It shall never be destroyed, right? And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. The kingdom shall not be left to other people, right? But it shall break in pieces to consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. That's exactly what's gonna come. So all these nations, once our Lord Yahweh comes back, all these nations they're gonna go into slavery. Revelation two verse twenty five. All these other nations. So hey, they're, 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 their destiny is set already, man. Asia, Asia. What are they? That's our uh, Moab. Yeah. Uh, Asian. Uh, the Chinese are the Moabites. The Japanese are the Ammonites. Where did they come from? The China. The China being Asian. Uh, they, yeah. they came from a man of Lot. You know, you know after Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed? Yeah. And um and Lot and his two daughters survived that? Yeah. So what happened was their two daughters, because they thought that there was no man um that was on the face of the earth because um because of um Sodom and Gomorrah was just completely demolished. Uh, right. That all men there was no man on the earth no more. So their two daughters, what they did was they had sex with Lot, the father. The father. Right. So that's why you know that as these um, Moabites and these Chinese, um, Japanese and Chinese, the high eyes are down of Down syndrome from incense. That comes from incense. What? The father, you know. So that's the what. Incense. Yeah. So that's what happened because they had sex. We can break it out. Bring it up. Like, yeah, what's that? Yeah, that's why the eyes like uh, yeah, down syndrome. Yeah, down syndrome. When the eyes are real low like that, yeah, that's because of incense, you know, because they have sex. Because they have sex no more. Yeah. So that 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 that's what took place. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get the account. But isn't that a, isn't that a sin? Yeah, it's a, but what happened was because of Sodom, because that Sodom and Gomorrah was t completely demolished, that they, the, um, the, their daughters thought that there was no man that was left, you know, to um, to replenish the earth, you know, to bring forth seed. So the um, so the daughters um, contracted the idea: let's just have sex with our father so we can bring back, you know, man upon the earth. Yeah, the nation. So that's what took place. So they won't be basically they won't be charged. Yeah, because um because they, they thought in their minds because that their, their daughters were young, because they thought in their minds that every everybody got destroyed. Right. That there was no man upon the earth to replenish right. the earth. So that's when they cocked the idea, the older daughter cocked the idea, let's the, let's make our father drunk and then lie, you know. We're, we're, we're gonna bring it out. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Yeah. Genesis chapter 19, verse, uh, verse 34. And it came to pass on tomorrow that the first born. Yeah, sorry. Matter of fact, I want to go to uh, verse 30. Genesis chapter 19, verse 30. It says, uh, The blood went out of Zohar and well. Okay. His blood went out of the all and dwelt in the mountains, and his daughters with him for fear to dwell in Zoar, and he dwelt in a cave, and he and his daughters, and the firstborn said unto the, the younger. So this is the firstborn, he 
she, um, she's talking to the younger daughter. And the first one said unto the daughter, unto the younger, our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come and into us after the manner of, of all the earth. So th this, is, this is what the first daughter said to the younger daughter. Now they thought that there was no man upon the earth, you know, that they could lie with, that their father is getting old, so that there's no man on the earth. So this is what she said to the um, younger daughter. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lay, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seeds of our father. That's right. So that's what she had said. Let us make our father drink that we may have sex with him, so they can preserve seed of the father of their fathers. So they wanted to preserve that seed. God. And he read. And they let the father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father. So the firstborn went in and lay with their father. So the firstborn already had sex with Lot, the older. Yep. Says, uh, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he, and he perceived it not when he lay down, nor when she was. And it came to pass on tomorrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesterday night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go down and lie with him, that we may preserve the seed of our father. So that's when the firstborn already had told the younger that he already, she already laid down with them. Now it's your turn. So they took the wine and made them or made their father drunk, so that he wouldn't have any idea that he, what he was doing. So now the second board came in, you know, which, which is going to lead on. And it gets to pass on the morrow that the first born said unto the younger, Oh, I lay yes tonight with my father. Let us make let us make him drink wine this night also, and go down and lie with him. That we may preserve the seed of our father, and they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him, and, and, he, perceived, and he perceived not when they lay down, nor when she arose. That's right. So now it was the younger that laid down with their father, you know, after the firstborn did. So this is what happened. And it reads, uh, and they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger arose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were two the daughters of Lot which shall by their father. That's right. No, I'll continue on. And he reads, and the younger says, uh, and the firstborn bear a son and called his name Moab. That's right, the firstborn bear the son and called his name Moab, which you see. That's what the Chinese, the so-called Chinese, came out. You know, they came out of the uh, the line of Lot, uh, of Moab. You know, it says, uh, and the firstborn bear a son and call his name Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. Yeah, the same is the father of the Moabites to this very day, which are the so-called Chinese people. You know, uh, and the younger. She also bear a son. So this is the younger right now. And the younger, she also bear a son. They call his name Ben Amai, except the father of the children of Ammon. Okay. Ben Benai, which are the Japanese, you know, which are the fathers of Ammon to this very day. So Ammonites. So Japanese people are known as Ammonites. You know, that's where they came from because they slept with their fathers to, to, to try to preserve seed. So that the set, so then you got the so-called Chinese, which are these people right here to this very day. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows what happened. They know. Is that the reason why they don't marry outside of their families? Now all the races. You will see it. What happened? I'm saying, like you don't really see Asians marry outside their families. Well, I mean they do. I don't see it like that. You do see Jacob. A lot of Jacobs that's marrying these um. Moabite. Because I see it all the time. I see Jake with Moabites and um and Japanese with um with blacks. You know? Yeah, I, I have seen a lot of white white men from Chinese. Japanese. Yeah, so so they do marry outside their, their race, you know. So they do.
But they, they just probably, they're more strict with it in, um, in their own country. That's what I'm though. saying, you don't see many though. I don't yeah. Really see yeah, like that's that. because like all people are in such a step, nobody wants to do anything with us, man. Yeah. Everybody wants to stay away from us. They want to be like us, but they don't want to carry on the struggle. Exactly. You know, I see it all the time. Yeah. yeah. The Spanish, all of them, like Puerto Ricans, all of them. Yeah, Puerto Ricans, they also catch an L too, because they are our people too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the thing is, since they got the complexion for the protection, they think that we're, we're separate, you know? They think that they're separate from the right. from Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know? Because ultimately, because of this devil right here, you know? Because when the conquistadors went over to the um, island of Española and raped and robbed our forefathers, they installed this image in their heads, you know? So they think that this is God, this is the beauty of perfection right here. So they look at us like we're not, we're, we ain't shit, you yeah, that's know? Right, yeah, that's because, right. It's program. Yeah, program. Been programmed for thousands of years. That's yeah. what you call a psychological. Uh, that's what you call Stockholm uh, Syndrome. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, yeah Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. You know? yeah. When you fall in love with the oppressor. Yep. Your enemy. Exactly. Your enemy. Our grandmothers, our grandfathers yep. was given this and it was given to me. Yeah. And for me to change it, I would have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yep. It's been handed down. Through exactly. Generation. So that's what happened. But these are the same, uh, we are all the same people. Yeah, come. Because it says in the scripture of Ephraim that Ephraim is a king. Um, that Ephraim is a, is a king not turned, you know? Because you're going to have some of them that look um, light, very light, and then you're going to have some of them that, that, that are very dark, you know? So, but it also says in the prophecy that these tribes are going to come together, that we're going to come together. Yeah, because we're we're gonna come together, you know. Because right now, you know, blacks don't like the Puerto Ricans, and Puerto Ricans don't like blacks with all the tribes. You know that that distinction amongst the tribes is gonna be breached. But the Most High's gonna build it back together, as in the days of old. He's doing it right now. Yeah, he's doing it right now with us. Yeah, with us. We have different uh, uh, in the, in the camp. Uh, yeah, because. Because you also we also have Puerto Ricans that are in the camp, you know, that come up, yeah, so called Puerto Rican, which is the tribe of Ephraim, you know, in the camp, you know, we come out, uh, we just come out Saturdays, but the main camp is tomorrow, you know, we come out tomorrow like around like three, okay, you know? that's where we, yeah, three here, you know, same, same place, so that's the main camp, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll be out here. I'll be out. I'll come yeah, out. with the main camp. What's that? Yeah. Where everybody else? All the other brothers come together. All the brothers. Yeah, all the We're brothers. The what do y'all, uh, y'all want to be once a week? Nah, we come out twice a week, you know? We come out, some of us come out Saturdays. And like, me, me and this brother right here, we just do Saturdays. And we also do tomorrow, too. But with the main camp. What do you have to do on Huh? Yeah, we come, we just come together, you know? I mean, we got a space where we go uh, before we coming out here. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like a session of two hours, then we come out and teach the word, you know? Where's the How do you get the Huh? You just got to be accepted. You just got to keep coming here, you know? You just got to keep coming here. But, but when we perceive, when the elders, who are our elders, perceive that, you know, the spirit of the Lord is gonna bring you in, that's when we bring you in. And that's when you can come to the uh, you know, to the to the meetings, you know. But you know, but you gotta be accepted. You know? Yeah. You just gotta show your faith, you know. Yeah. Amos chapter nine, verse eleven, and that day when I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. That's right, close up the breaches thereof. You know, that means that the saint the dissension amongst um, um, the tribes, you know? That's what that's what that, that's talking about in that scripture. And that day will I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his room. And I will build it as in the days of old. That's right, as in the days of old, you know, because back in the um, when King David was ruling and King Solomon, all these tribes were together, you know, as one nation. Solomon is the last. Yeah, with Solomon, King David, and King Solomon, you know, that's when we were all together as a nation. All all the tribes on the side. Wow. So the Most High said He's going to build it as in the days of old. And He's doing it right now. now. And He's doing it right now. That's why when you look at the this uh so-called Israelite movement, which is like the, the spirit of the Lord, it's not a movement, it's like uh, us 
waking back, waking to our nationality, right? That's right. Because you also you also got the, the northern tribe. They're also out there teaching, yeah. teaching the word. You know, right. they're yeah. preaching. I mean, before I even when I came up, I was, I had stopped looking at the Israelites like that stuff on YouTube. I used to watch the videos. Yeah, they in New York. And Atlanta, Atlanta. It's, it's a lot of yeah. yeah. I was like, man, South, like, South Africa, South Africa, some, like South I, I drew away from it. You know what I'm saying? Like I went away from it. And, but some, some brought me back to it. You know what I'm saying? Like some brought me back to this. Like this. Yeah, it's a reason. That's, that's what I'm the saying. Of the Lord, you know. You know, in due time. Yeah. You know, because like uh, there's two reasons you here. What are you? What are to be said? What are to hear the gospel and accept it, or what are to reject it? For, it's for uh, salvation and destruction. That's 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 the reason. That's yeah, exactly. You know, that's what it's about. You know, the Lord brought you here for a reason, either to accept this truth yep. or to the, uh, or to reject it and go into the world. You know, and ultimately get destroyed. Yeah. You know, because the Lord is now calling out. You yeah. know? Yeah. Right. God, the scripture says, "Uh, men's goings of the Lord. How can then a man understand his own way?" So you come in here, it's not on your own. The Lord makes make sure you hear, man. That's right. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Because you don't really see too many people doing this. Like, yeah, I be, I be, I be thirsting for knowledge so much. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, since I moved here, but it's like I haven't really came across. You know what I'm saying? The Israelites, like, you know what I'm saying? Doing they do, doing their job for the Lord. Y'all get props, man, for real. I appreciate y'all. Thank the Lord, man. And most yeah. times, bless y'all. It's not us, man. We just, we just vessel. We just vessel, right? The Lord could not right. choose anybody. So we just uh, a vessel that the Lord choose to make yeah. his word come to pass. So we're not, thank the Lord. Right. Yeah. So it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Right. You know? He directs our steps, you know. Because this is his movie. This is his program. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is all the works of the Heavenly Father, yeah. Yahweh yeah. Bashim Yahweh If I may add too, bro, he's the ultimate director. He coaches everything. He coaches co on both sides, the left and the right. The good and the evil. Lord kill it for the beginning of the life. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up though. You know, and we just want to give all praises to Jesus. Jesus was stolen from the story of the roof. That's madness. Yeah, that's madness. <laughs> but with that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, the Lord to the head apostles of Great Gospel that rule well, and peace and salutations to Yahweh out there in the highways and byways. Noise in this world of blood all around the world. And they tell them we want to say show the world. Bob Yash Allah.